Hi there, I'm Bethany Havis, a librarian at Mercer University Libraries, and today I'll show you how to do a quick search for books, ebooks, and articles using our new Primo search discovery. From the main page, you'll use the top search box to search for your subject. There are a lot of results to begin with, but you'll narrow them down from here using the options on the left side. The first option you want to pay attention to is resource type. You can select resource types, including articles, books, and many other items. First, I want to take a look at the books. This is a collection of books and ebooks that we have access to through your Mercer libraries. You can select what kind of book, either books or ebooks, that you'd like to choose by going to the bottom of your limiters and selecting either available online or held by library. If you select held by library, that's looking for a library book at one of our locations, something physical that you could hold in your hands. When you get these results, you'll see each item will tell you which library it's located at, as well as the call number at the end. The call number is the book's address in the library, and that's what you would need to write down or take a picture of in order to find it later. If you wanted to find an ebook instead of a physical book, you could use the same filter instead of held by library, and you could choose available online. So here I've removed that held by library and I'm going to choose available online. So now we have the list of items from searching for our subject, selecting books and selecting available online. Each of these is a book available through our subscription databases and to access them, you would select the item, Select a location where you can view it. Sometimes it's in more than one database, so you could choose either one. From there, it takes you into the database where you can read the item online, you can see the description and the table of contents and more information about that title. Now to search for articles, I'll remove those selections that we already made. And we're back to our original set of results for our topic. I go back to that same resource type option, and this time I'll select articles instead of books. Here we get a result list of lots of different kinds of articles, and you'll see that some of them even have that peer-reviewed icon underneath. Keep in mind, though, that not all of these are going to be peer-reviewed. So you can go to the bottom, again to that availability option, and select peer-reviewed journals to make sure your results list is only showing peer-reviewed. And just like with ebooks, if you'd like to view one of these, you can select the item and select the location where it's available. In this case, the database is JSTOR. That link takes you on through where you can read the entire thing. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or would like any further help with this, please let us know at the Mercer University Libraries and we're happy to help. Have a great day.